When I started my YouTube channel, I knew that I would learn more from you guys than you guys would learn from me. And that's because there's only one of me and there's thousands of you. And this video is a perfect example of that. Earlier, I made a video about why I don't use mold release when casting resin. And it's primarily because the mold release is hard to get off the casting and it makes it hard to paint the castings. I got a ton of commentary on that video and there was one uniform theme and that is that a lot of you guys use this man ease release and the claim is that it works great as a release agent and it washes off with soap and water no solvents no nasty stuff needed just soap and water and it's paintable so i said okay <laughs> i gotta test this out that would be a game changer for my studio i bought this it's not a sponsored video but I'm going to test it. I'm going to make a casting with it and we're going to see if we can paint it. I'm really interested to see what happens. Okay, I'm going to spray the mold, but then according to the instructions, I need to let the release spray completely dry before I pour the resin. Okay, the mold is dry. It's banded up. Let's get it poured. Mixed up 60 grams of resin. Let's get this mixed up quick. Let's pour it. Beautiful. All right, and it goes. Ultimately, I ran the tank up to about 90 pounds pressure. Witness cup, ready to go. Got a few flaws, but I don't care for the purposes of this test. Caught a few bubbles here and there, but it feels dry, dry to the touch, not greasy at all. That's a good sign. So let's wash this kid. Got a tub of hot soapy water. In he goes. And it's nice and hot, nice and warm. Got a scrubby brush. Let's get it cleaned. They said just scrub it. Soapy water, hot soapy water. Love these acid brushes. They're like the greatest things in the world. Use them for all kinds of stuff. Okay, I gotta feel like that's pretty clean. So let's get him dried off. To paint this, I'm gonna go pure gesso, full strength, no dilution, right out of the bottle. The brush is damp, but it's not soaking. What do you guys think? Think this is gonna work? <laughs> I'm excited to see. Hmm, well, it's definitely still pulling off. I don't know if it'd be stainable. It's better than the one in the previous video, but it's still giving me some resistance, a little bit. Okay, that's the first coat. Let's let it dry and see how it does. I'm going to say with some refinement, this actually would work out reasonably well. It looks like it's sticking on there pretty good and uh, it's covering okay. I always like to use really thin coats of ground, not big thick coats. So I build it up and uh, then I don't lose as much of the details. All right, pretty good. Okay, I'm liking the paint coat. It's nice and thin and it's kept all the detail, but I am seeing a little bit of a problem. Look at that. And bottom line is that gesso, <laughs> 
is not sticking to it. Look at that. So, yeah, that is a real problem, guys. So I'm not sure what all of you guys are talking about or what you did differently than I did when you say that you just clean this stuff off with soap and water. Because, boy, I tell you what, that, that acrylic gesso is not bonding to it at all. To make a fair test, let's hit the other side with spray primer before we add gesso and see if it sticks better. I bought this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Primer, and it's specifically used for plastic, which is handy. It's nice, dries nice and flat. And uh, let's see how it goes on. I like to spray a very light coat from all angles so I get the most even coverage I can possibly get. Okay, this is spray primer. It's a thin coat. It feels dry to the touch. I don't know, guys. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. I mean, it just it, it comes just scratches right off. It's like there's no adhesion at all, or very little adhesion to the plastic. That just is not bueno. Uh, if you know what I'm doing wrong, chime in in the comments because I got to say my prejudice against ease release. Uh, has not been changed at all uh, by this experiment. If anything, it's, I would say it's very similar. It went on easier, it went on smoother, that's for sure, but it did not give me any kind of decent adhesion. So no, I'm just not gonna use spray releases on anything I plan to paint. Sorry, my mind is not changed. Ixnay on the mold release. Ixnay on the mold release, holy moly. No mold release. I don't care who makes it. I'm staying away from it. Mold release is the devil incarnate. I'm not going near it. Hey, I hope you got something out of this video. And if you did, watch this video next. If you got some value out of it and you want to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down below. There's also a link to a super thanks button and you can use that for making a one-time contribution. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.